In this week's 58 Hometowns Visit, we're taking a magical ride on the East Troy Christmas train. And conductor and operations manager uh, Jim Fireherm joins us live this morning with a preview. Jim, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. I can't complain. Listen, tell us about the, the, the Christmas train. Well, I tell you what, the, the Christmas trains, we have uh, what we call our regular Christmas trains, which uh, use um, South Shore cars, big South Shore cars, and that runs on Saturdays and Sundays. And then on Friday nights and Saturday nights, we have our Santa special trains, and that is uh, two more South Shore cars, our dining cars, and we decorate them all up for Christmas and down they go to Santa's workshop, and we do that at the Elegant Farmer, and they're really great to work with. And we turn their greenhouse into Santa's workshop. Wow! And the children meet. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's just a, it's a lot of fun. We're looking at a video here, and this looks like so much fun. What's that energy like when the kids get on the train? Oh, that well. Uh, I'm not going to say it competes with uh, Christmas morning, but it's pretty darn close. They get on the trains. They're excited to be on the trains. They're also excited to know where they go. And our crews and our, our volunteers are really good about uh, pointing out that they're going to go meet Santa Claus. And uh, that's, that's always a lot of fun. Well, just lots and lots of excitement. All righty, Jim, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit of insight with that. Okay, well, have a great day, and uh, see you on the train, maybe. All righty. The Canadian Pacific Holiday Train made stops in several local communities last night. But still rolling through the countryside of Walworth County is a railroad taking families on a magical journey to Santa's workshop. And this week's CBS 58 Hometowns, our trip aboard the East Troy Electric Railroad's Santa Express Christmas Train. Christmas and trains have had a special connection for more than a century. It started with steam locomotives delivering packages and people to their holiday destinations. And continues today with the East Troy Electric Railroad's Christmas train excursions to Santa's workshop at the Elegant Farmer in McWanaga. 24, car 25. All aboard. There's a lot of people that come. They're all dressed the same. They're all in their pajamas, and they're just having a wonderful time. My name is Jim Fireham. I'm the conductor of the Santa Express and also the operations manager of the East Troy Electric Railroad. That's Conductor Jim. He's in charge of the whole train. And on the train, there's a lot of excitement. Yeah. We watch Polar Express all the time, and his first chance to be on a real train, he's thrilled. Please for your hot chocolate. But there's cookies, there's hot chocolate. Allison, how's the hot chocolate? Good. You have a ticket? There's tickets to be punched. So how's that? There you go. What does your ticket say? H-H-S. And that stands for? It's just great seeing the smile on kids' faces and making memories. I'm Sue Budzi, and I've been a volunteer here at the railroad for a little over eight years. This is really interesting, taking them back in time to see what it was like back in the old days. Right this way, folks, this way. Are you looking forward to seeing Santa? Yes. Lorelai, why is this so special? Because I get to see Santa. <laughs> it's the most magical time of the year, riding the Santa train, and the kids get to sit on Santa's lap when we get there. We're going to put it in the mailbox. Well, I hope that they know that we have provided something that is unique, something that is fun, that we keep the spirit of Christmas alive, and I think we do a pretty good job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. This Christmas train is so popular, the remaining dates are sold out. And coming up on Thursday, from the Easter Bunny train to the family picnic train, the numerous other opportunities you'll have next year to experience the scenery and nostalgia of the East Troy Electric Railroad. This week's 58 Hometowns Winter Edition is highlighting an attraction in Walworth County that's preserving early electric railway history. Yeah, after riding the Santa Express on Tuesday, today we check out the other excursions offered aboard the East Troy Electric Railroad and take you inside its museum.
Our over-the-river and through-the-woods adventure to Santa's <laughs> workshop was truly magical. Jim Fireherm is the operations manager and conductor of the uh, Christmas train, the East Troy Electric Railroad. Good to see you, Jim. Uh, it was like a trip back in time. Tell us about this vintage well, railroad car, Jim. <laughs> I tell you what, it is a, uh, a trip back in time. These good old cars were made in 1927 by the Pullman Corporation, which makes them, in my math, just about 100 years old. And look at them, they're, they're running just fantastic. 1907, the TMER and L started. We're the last seven and a half miles of the original railroad. This is the original spot, and we keep right on going. The remaining Christmas train trips are sold out. What's the 2024 schedule look like? Okay, the 2024 schedule we're excited about, we start about two weeks before Easter with our bunny trains. Right after that, we go into our regular season, which means we run our regular trains. And I say regular trains, we operate on Saturday and Sunday from East Troy to the Elegant Farmer and all the way into Indian Head Park in Maguanago. After Memorial Day, we add Fridays. From the first Saturday of May, which is the Kentucky Derby train, we roll out our dinner trains. And you've got a fantastic museum here. Too. Oh my gosh, yes. And again, that building was built in 1907. One half of it is a lot of artifacts, a lot of archives, a lot of special things, and there are treasures and gems in there from the past of the, of the TMERNL. Then on the other side, of course, is our gift shop. And what's really exciting this year, really exciting, and I have to highlight this, is the We Energy Foundation gave us a grant. This year, we have now heating and air conditioning in the depot. Outstanding, Jims. Thanks so much. And uh, if you've got your 2024 calendar, circle early October because that's when tickets go on sale for next year's Christmas train. It's a Santa Express. There's nothing like it in the area.